folk trusted you. I thought I could too. So why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 3. Not the new one. The old one. I believe this game came out in 2011. And it was the end of an incredible trilogy. Starting from Call of Duty 4 into Modern Warfare 2 and into Modern Warfare 3. This is the time where Call of Duty peaked. Not like nowadays, but this game is such a classic. I feel like this game was a little bit underrated though. Um, but why is all my clock? Okay, so I think my account's been hacked. Obviously, no surprise being on this game, but ignore the names. Obviously, we're going to go through some weapons. We had the ACR, of course. The incredible gun that debuted in Modern Warfare 2. They brought it back. Of course, the AK. You can't have a Call of Duty game without the AK. Um, got the Scar. Got the M16 and the M4A1. Moving into the submachine guns, we got the MP5, of course, classic. We got the UMP45. Um, we got the P90. We got the Sweat Lord weapon called the MP, uh, MP7. And he said the MPL. That's Black Ops 1. Yeah. Then we come into snipers. Again, we had two amazing snipers on this game, a bit like Black Ops 2 with the Ballista and the DSR 50. We had the L11AA and, of course, the MSR. Um, shotguns, classics, um, KSG, Spaz, the Stryker, the models which weren't broken in this game, thank God. Right shield, of course, everyone wants to run around like a ninja. Uh, we got our machine pistols. Of course, the Desert Eagle, and we have some weird looking guns like this one. Yeah, I believe this was the f yeah, this was the first Call of Duty game that introduced a specialist, um, which is basically so you get two kills, you get this, and once you hit seven, I think you unlock all of it, all perks, which is weird, um, but it worked, I guess. But, like I say, we're here for the games, not for the weapons. So, let's see if this game is still updated in 2024. God knows how many years later. Oh, I've got the community playlist, Infected. Infected, I think, again, was first debuted on this game. Uh, we've got Drop Zone, All or Nothing. We've got M MW Threesome, which used to be like you used to vote your top three maps. Um... And we got um, MITD, which was basically you'd have a juggernaut. And Face Off, of course, Face Off again debuted in this game. Um, and it's been in many others since. But let's see if we can jump onto Tedium. And there we go, we got game straight away on lockdown. Again, the maps weren't. Could, oh my lord, this is. This is nostalgia. First kill. Second kill. And boy, it's nice to see the old terminal. Of course, this was copied straight over from Modern Warfare for, uh, 2. Which is probably only minor differences. Had to walk in there with him, didn't I?
You're not going anywhere, mate. Good old hard hat. Of course, this map has come back a few times. Like I say, maps overall in Modern Warfare 3 wasn't the best. I can't lie. And we have the Modern Warfare 2 Max Cabo one, of course. God, you are so lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, C4 kill finally. There you light up. Oh my god, I literally just went in. No, I, I did see you there, unfortunately. There's more up there for sure. They're literally all in the building to the left of me now. Right, UMP time on Dome. I didn't want to use the ACR at all games, so. Thank you, he's dead. Get turned on. Why didn't that guy drop? Him knows playing all there. Hello. Hold on. Can we stop? Hello? What was he doing there? Good work, comrades. He was literally sat there, I was blind, I was like, hello. Huh. Huh. I was literally about to turn and get out of a guy, look, there you go. But, we'll have to end it there, of course. Um, This is, it's 30 minutes without me editing, of course. Like I say, it'll go roughly down to 10. But yeah, let me know what other game next. Of course, like I say, the free list I gave you was obviously remove Modern Warfare 3. I think we go back to the past for a little bit of World at War. I think we go next. 
anyway make sure to like subscribe see you later goodbye